The Piping Abacus. The Piping Abacus program starts up in the catalog portion of the application. Now some information about what is the Piping Abacus catalog. The initial screen that is displayed consists of a clear button, the calculator running total display, a fixed in place up arrow button, down arrow button, a graphical fitting category menu that slides up or down to expose more available fitting categories, and the calculator's current fitting settings. Now a description of each of these in detail. The calculator clear button. This button clears the running total. The calculator running total. Any fitting property add or subtract button will adjust this displayed total accordingly. The up arrow, down arrow buttons. Pressing the up arrow button scrolls the current displayed fitting to the next lower size fitting. The down button scrolls to the next larger size fitting. For example, if you were viewing a 8 inch flange, pressing up arrow would now display a 6 inch and a down arrow would display a 10 inch. Think of the arrows as moving down or up a fitting chart. Essentially, piping abacus is a piping chart. The graphical fitting category menu. The available menus are as follows. Set new size, pipe, butt weld fitting, threaded socket weld fitting, flange, OLED, reduction, flanged valve, socket weld, threaded valve, and finally butt weld valve. The calculator settings. This screen displays the settings that are selected by pressing the set new size button. Any fitting button selected will read the size that is currently indicated on this display. Additionally, there is a tab bar at the bottom. This tab bar allows the user to easily move from the catalog to the calculator to the app settings, to the reference instructions, or the fitting chart. The catalog's intended purpose is to provide very detailed information that one would usually find in a manufacturer's catalog. The calculator's intended purpose is for the user to input starting data, such as a dimension from which to subtract from, or as a simple handy calculator tool. The settings tab allows control such as units, display, etc. The instructions can be used as a quick reference to tutorials and quick contact to the developer, me, to help you get the most from this handy tool. The chart is intended as the fastest, easiest way to the most common takeout dimensions. Now let's explore each of the fitting categories in more detail. Starting with the set size button which launches the appropriate display, this display reveals six selectable wheels that control which fitting will be displayed when the appropriate fitting is selected. Main size controls what size fitting will be displayed. Reduction size controls fittings which are reduction fittings such as reducers, OLEDs, swedges, reducing tees, etc. Rating affects fittings like flanges or valves. Facing affects flange components. Schedule affects fittings, pipes, flanges, etc. End type affects socket weld and threaded fittings. When a selection displays an S, then a socket weld fitting will be displayed. The T indicates that a threaded fitting will be shown. Not all fittings use all of the selections on this wheel. For example, when the user selects a butt weld L, it would not matter what the current settings such as rating or facing are set at. However, size and schedule would be important. Selecting the pipe button reveals a menu of pipe related items. The first button is pipe. Pressing the pipe button exposes a view which includes both a large graphic image of the item 
and a scrollable table that includes a fitting description, associated properties, and a definition located at the very bottom of the table. Clicking on this definition launches another screen which describes what the standard the fittings conform to and a short definition. Each of these properties listed clearly identify the property and have an easy to read dimension associated with each. Each item also includes an add and a subtract button so the user can add or subtract that property to the running total. Other listed items are thread engagement, socket depth, and a dynamic pipe spacing chart which the user can set size, flange rating, and insulation of the adjacent pipelines and retrieve the recommended centerline to centerline pipe spacing. Each of the categories contain appropriately grouped fittings. Fittings such as flanges contain an abundance of associated information such as wrench size, bolt diameters, lengths for both machine and stud bolts, quantities, etc.